for another reaction y'all see you got patrice o'neill i'm a racist but go back to africa you know what i'm saying definitely geek to get in this reaction definitely uh been a minute since uh reacting to patrice o'neill so gotta get into it I mean, make sure you hit that like button subscribe button let's get in the video how many people getting sick of the hindu obstacle course at the airport it's just it is I mean, I'm a racist, but it's, it's, it's getting, and I don't mind foreigners, but don't be from your, like, from your country. Like, you, it's okay to be originally from there, your parents and grandparents, you can't be from India, and Ibel Dabu, for my Ibel Dabu id you go what the f i know i'm american i i gotta be more american than you because i don't go evil devil <laughs> evil devil evil why are you doing so perfect <laughs> man i know my voice proves i'm american like i need another i need an american voice to ask me for my shit but you can't get rid of the double day dudes because they're amazing. Like, who else will work at 24 hour Brooklyn gas station with no bulletproof vest and no gun? And curse niggas out if they don't have less than a 50. I mean, people double. People double, people double. You need something smaller, please. Double. 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 Double day. You can't get rid of them because they do jobs nobody else is going to do. That's why you can't. Really, listen, what is this thing where we trying to get Mexicans out of this country? Who else is going to work without Mexicans? And who else is going to work? Who else would drive a bicycle on the highway? Who else would ride a... <laughs> who else would ride a... Wait a minute. Who else would ride a bicycle on the highway against traffic to deliver you a panini sandwich for lunch. Damn. On time. Who else? Who else is gonna uh, kick in your hotel door to make your bed besides some little Mexican woman who has an ethic? She has to make your bed. I have to. I have. I have to make. And look, and she knocks. And she fucking punches the door. And bro, she stands and she it was just one time, bro. This one time, literally was knocked out in a hotel room. Literally not. I still had like a day. I'm pretty sure like a day or two in the hotel room, and just came in the hotel room, bro. Just came in the hotel room. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even think it was a knockable. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no knockable. A knockable. You know what I'm saying? You get the knockable, and a knockable is like a, 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 a it's a lunchable. It's not a, it's not the great value lunchable. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can, y'all know the great value lunchables. I don't know. They call it snackers or something. Snackers, smackables, something like that. It's the lunchable. You know what I'm saying? Not the full grown, you know what I'm saying? Knockable. We talking about, I got the generic smackable. And literally was, you know what I'm saying? A little, little knock came in. I'm, bro, my checkout not to, you know what I'm saying? Trying to trying to make bro bright and early, bro. You know when you hotel, you feel me. Sometimes you know what I'm saying. You get up early, get you get down with your nigga. If you out of town, you know what I'm saying. You in town, you not that far. You want to get a little, you know what I'm saying. Get away tight. You don't want to get up all early. You know what I'm saying. I had this shit happen, and they don't play with that shit. You know what I'm saying. She has to make your bed. I have to. <coughs> I have. I have to make. And look, and she knocks, and she fucking punches the door. And she scares the shit out. She kicks the fucking door, and the chain is on. Hello, hello, and you're like, Miss, the chain is on. I'm alive. The chain's on the door. I'm alive. You don't have, ma'am. Please, look, I, I please, I must make your bed. I must make your bed. I must make your bed. Please, oh, please, please, oh, <laughs> pull out a fucking ideal meal, shit. Please, please, I. And she's trying to squeeze in through the space, <laughs> through the chain space. Like, I, hello? Hello? Hey, she doing her job. I must make you, hello? 
And it, I, I guess they just, you know what I'm saying, doing their job. I wish I never traveled, for real, for real, because I, I, I would like to just never have traveled outside this country, and then I could hate America and be happy, you know what I'm saying? But I travel, <coughs> and now it's like, I, now I like America, but I still hate, it's weird, I hate it, but it, it's, it, it's nowhere better, because all I got to really deal with is racist crackers like that, and that's... That's it's funny because like I don't black people really don't look at white people with like you're the oppressor anymore. It's just something we do. It's just like we like not liking white people, and white people like not liking us. It's like it's just that's just what we do. It's just because I'm not going nowhere, and I'll kill a motherfucker. He tell me to go like back to Africa. But listen, I'm talking to <laughs> black people. Stop that fucking horse shit. That go back to Africa shit. First of all, Africans. Don't like black people. That's first one. Bro, when I tell y'all, when I tell y'all, I swear to God, bro, they do not like. That's one thing, 2022, that I that I realized myself. <clears throat> I live uh, close to a city, um, Avon, in, uh, Indiana, and in that Walmart, it's a lot of uh, Africans, and they stare, look at me. They be mugging everything. I'm talking about everything. And why they looking at me? I'm talking about looking at me. They be they they uh what I, what did language do Africans speak? Um, I'm not sure what Africans and I I um I got a uh I forgot because my my cousin he's married to an African and some some Africans don't. I'm pretty sure she she. Has. Uh, some Africans, you know what I'm saying, they, they cool, but a lot of Africans do not like black people for some reason. I don't know. But why, you know what I'm saying, they look, and it, this has not, it's, it's been multiple times. Bro, they scream, bro. I'm talking about they be on their phone, bro, screaming at the top of their lungs, bro. You know what I'm saying, on the phone, like they the only ones in the store. And they mugging me. Shit crazy. Shit definitely crazy. I ain't hey, doing it, I'm shopping. What the fuck am I gonna do in Africa? <laughs> Besides fighting some war, wearing uh, sweatpants and tuxedo shoes. Damn. With a fucking... <laughs> with a fucking machete in my hand with a pair of fucking tuxedo shoes. <laughs> and a knife and, and fighting some goofy ass fucking war. Fuck it. <laughs> One thing about uh, this stand-up is, like like said, with uh, I just reacted to Al Bundy. <clears throat> it's only a select few of comedians that can do what he just did because the world's so sensitive now. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Al Jones definitely, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, definitely loved it. Uh, it's been a while since we reacted to Patrice O'Neal. Uh, so make sure y'all keep on commenting. Um, Patrice O'Neal um, and other comedians. I can check out. Make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, catch y'all next time.